Hey guys, Spiderbot here. Welcome to Ghost Tactical. In this video, we're going to be doing a map walkthrough of Strike Zone, one of the smallest maps in Ghost Multiplayer. First thing we're going to do is show you an overhead of the map, and we're going to identify the AI callouts. The AI in game actually makes callouts when they see enemy players. It's enemy by the concession stands or enemy at the upper concourse, all right? So it makes sense to keep your callouts the same as the AI callouts in game. I mean, there may be some other uh, other callouts that you want to add into the fold, but I think it just makes sense, uh, you know, instead of getting confused when the AI calls out one position and you're calling out another to your teammates, I don't think that really makes sense. So anyways, here are the callouts. I think we have them all for this map strike zone. We've got the statue at the top left, pro shop, the upper and lower concourse, the concession stands, the atrium and the bar and I think if you're not in one of those positions enemy tends to say hey enemy in the open all right so I think in that bottom right hand area is sort of the quote unquote open area but in a lot of the bigger maps there are going to be more open area locations as we'll see as we go along in this series of map walkthrough videos. All right, here we are in game on the map. We're starting off in the statue area, and this is uh, one of the spawn points for nearly every team game mode in Call of Duty Ghosts. And one thing I should mention is that uh, this map is laid out very, very similar to Dome. And uh, somebody mentioned it to me on Twitter. And I didn't really realize after playing only a few uh, matches on this map, but after walking through it in detail, it does look very, very similar to Dome. So whether, you know... You don't like them reusing maps or, or using old maps or not. Um, it's dome, pretty much. Okay, so in this uh, this area, we have the, the statue here. And uh, we can jump up here and take cover behind the statue. Shoot them in the balls if you want. But, um, you know, it's pretty uh, pretty decent cover over here. You can go prone if you want, I'm sure. See? And uh, snipe if you want. So you can jump up there. And also, uh, this, this truck here. You can, I mean, there are a couple ways that you can jump up on top of this uh, this truck. There's a couple ladders on either side, and there's some boxes, and uh, there's a ladder on this side. All right, and this also gives you access to this upper level up here. So we can jump up there if we want, um, and if we're coming from this direction, we can jump down. Or we can use this, uh, this point up here as defense in this area. I mean, we can see everybody coming down from, from that area over there, up by the concessions. And um, we can also get a vantage point here for the upper and lower concourses or gain access to the concessions and therefore the atrium and the bar area. All right. So moving along again, this is the uh, the concession area up here. There are two entry points to go into the bar area. So this is uh, the big hitters bar and grill we're going to go into here. And uh, a couple of vantage points. I know uh, some vantage points are identified on the map with the uh, the blue arrows from the beginning of the the uh, map walkthrough here. So I mean, a couple spots right here. You can cover that alleyway or that entrance way into the bar from cover, and also from behind the bar, you can cover into the atrium area from this point. All right. So a few other spots. I mean, you do have still this other entry point into the bar. So you know coverage will not only be restricted to this point uh, as well as to that point behind the bar because you do leave one lane of access unprotected right here. All right, so just make note of that. So we're going to go back out to the uh, concession area, and here is the access up to that uh, vantage point up top here, back to the statue, and back to the upper and lower concourses. Let's move over further into the atrium area here, and uh, this is the upper concourse right here that we have access to and there is a another little area that you can sort of uh, defend from depending on what game mode we're talking about obviously but uh, just be aware that uh, players may be located in behind here you won't be able to see them very well uh, they, it's kind of a limited field of view right here obviously from this point but nonetheless just something to make note of Moving along, this is sort of the open area. I'm not sure what to call this. We, we tried to get the AI to uh, to call out a location down here, and, and pretty much the only call out we ever got was that uh, there's an enemy in the open. So unfortunately, not much we can do there. We can't get up into this area, unfortunately. Uh, there may be some other jump points that, uh, that we may miss on these uh, map walkthroughs, but uh, if you do uh, come across them or know about them, then be sure to leave a comment in the video comments. All right, guys? 
sign into your Google Plus and leave a comment. So this is sort of out in the open. And when you're playing and you're near an AI player or you're near one of your teammates and you hear that call out, like what I do is look at the minimap and see what direction they're pointing at, right? Because that'll usually identify, you know, you'll hear them more loudly if they're closer to you. So you look for your closest, your closest teammates and see where they're looking. And that will give you a, a rough indication of where the enemy player is, especially if you don't know the callouts. All right. So moving down in here into the lower concourse, I mean, we have some points of coverage right here. We can jump up onto, onto these boxes. Um, I mean, we can sit and cover here and cover that top area. Uh, we can also cover the, the upper concourse. Uh, we can sit back here and cover the pro shop or even back here and cover sort of that in the open area or down from the atrium. All right. And uh, there's a couple more, you know, a few more boxes that provide cover down in this open area here. And then we have the pro shop. I mean, again, let's just go to the upper concourse here first. And this is our jump point back up to this point of elevation back to the statue back to the concession stands and through the bar area so we jump back down here and then we have the pro shop all right moving along into the uh the pro shop we have some obstacles in here i mean we've got some shelves here that you can can use for cover and use for your uh your leaning effect here i haven't really used leaning a whole lot i mean when it comes up and i'm behind cover then yeah if, if i'm just using it but i don't i don't intentionally use lean uh, we also have the, uh, the the counter here, the equipment counter, let's call it. So, I mean, crouching here, you can uh, head glitch people probably, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> not that I really tend to do that, but uh, hey, you can, right? All right, and then we have um, just these uh, the boxes and, and shelves and whatever. They just act as another obstacle that uh, is in your way when you're trying to rush around the map. But, uh, you know, pretty, uh, it's, it's, it's one of the smallest maps, obviously. Uh, again, plays very much like, like Dome, um, or you can play it very much like Dome. If you're used to Dome and Modern Warfare 3, then uh, you have a pretty good map knowledge as it is. Now, one of the things that uh, we're going to be going through, and I believe this exists on almost every, if not all, multiplayer maps, the field orders. The field orders, when you kill enemy players, sometimes they drop a, a blue glowing briefcase and when you kill them you pick up that briefcase and those are field orders well if you complete the field order then you can get a care package drop well there are care package drops that are map specific i believe there's only one and i believe it's for most if not all multiplayer maps in call of duty ghosts in this particular case it's the kem strike and the KEM only drops from the care package in this particular map, uh, but you can also get the KEM through your, you know, your regular means, right? Not necessarily just through the care package. All right, so I got Hyper in the map with me now on a team deathmatch, and we're going to uh, complete some of these field orders. And it, it's it's actually fitting that uh, it's it's a humiliation field order, much to Hyper Mole's chagrin. Uh, so we're going to drop down the care package, and it does happen to be the KEM. We've tried it a few times. I think this is probably about the uh, the fourth or fifth care package that uh, that I've gotten trying to get the KEM because the entire map changes. It, it changes. And unfortunately, when you're playing a multiplayer, like a private match, you can only select Strike Zone. This version of it, you can't select the KEM version. So I just got the KEM. KEM Strike only available in a care package, I believe, here on Strike Zone. So we're going to call it in and watch how the map changes. Other maps do change slightly with KM strikes, but not to the nearly to the degree that this map changes. Like it's an entirely new map. There it is. Boo ya! My first KM. My first KM. I know it's like a private match. We, you know, basically boosted it. But hey, we wanted to uh, to see the uh, the explosion and to see and and to do some map walkthrough of the map now in its destructed state. So I'm just going to go back to um, to uh, the, the statue area, and we'll start from there, and we'll run through the map one more time, all right? Actually, just before we do that, I do have an updated uh, map overhead view of the map, and you can see how it's changed from the early stages, and we'll see more as we actually go through the map and walk through it. But, I mean, the callouts remain the same, okay? You still have the seven callout locations that we had before we cam the map, and uh, those remain the same, uh, depend, you know, it doesn't matter which version of the map you're playing, before chem or after chem, 
uh, the callouts remain the same. So let's uh, start our walkthrough here. Okay, we're back over by the statue, and uh, yes, things are very, very different. We don't have that elevated position any longer, and uh, the pro shop is sort of decimated. You only have this top level, although you can jump over this. It, it does give you an indicator. Actually, it doesn't give you the indicator, but you can jump over this railing to your death, and uh, that's about it. And you have this uh, this opening up top here now, so this is where that uh, that upper level would have been up and around this area. So just going back to where the statue is, you can now uh, just hop on top of the truck. You can hop onto this one as well. This one we couldn't get on top of on the uh, the pre-KEM or pre-KEM map version. Uh, again, we can use the uh, the statue as cover. And the statue, we're, we're, oh my god, his chest and his head are completely gone, right? Uh, and I don't know, you can't get up there. All right, there, there's also some stuff that... Um, that we're going to show you uh, as far as bullet pe penetration is concerned. So this, this again, this area here opens up a little bit. And uh, the bar remains almost the same. So you still have this, uh, this area to go through here. This is the concession stand area. And then over there is the atrium. So you can access the bar from that point as well as this point. So we're going to go through. Uh, you don't have the outer sort of row of seating it's completely fallen off and yes you can fall to your death your fiery death off the edge of the map now here in the bar but we still have you know this point here where you can duck in behind the bar and cover the atrium um and we can go to the atrium here see what kind of devastation we have out here so uh yeah it's uh, completely destroyed the, the the maps actually look pretty good i don't know i like them i like them it's uh, pretty pretty fun. We got some bullet marks. We'll we'll go through that uh, here shortly. So coming down into this uh, lower level here, lower down from the atrium, and approaching the lower concourse, and you can just see again how things have been modified here. It's uh it's a bit more open, obviously, not necessarily as much cover, not necessarily as much of uh, not that there was that much verticality in this map to begin with, but uh, we've lost sort of that upper level up there. Uh, in between the pro shop and the statue and the concession area. So that's it. Uh, there is uh, some stuff we're, we're going to show you here with uh, Hyper Knight testing, just uh, bullet penetration. And it seems kind of odd how bullets can go through some things and not necessarily through others. And we, don't, we aren't running armor piercing ammo or FMJ or whatever the hell you want to call it. I, think, I, I mean, it's armor piercing, I believe, in, uh, in, this, uh, in this version or iteration of Call of Duty, but. Uh, previously FMJ and uh, yeah so we're gonna skip to that right now all right so I got hyper back in the game here and we're just trying a few things out with uh, respect to bullet penetration uh, we're <laughs> taking a look at this bullard and you can shoot right through it I mean it's like you you don't even hit it there's like there's no resistance to your bullets through that bollard, all right? And I even tried with the SMG. Again, we're not running armor-piercing ammo or anything. I tried with the SMG, and watch how quickly I can still kill. <laughs> if he stops leaning, uh, I can kill him very, very easily behind those bollards. So if you're, you're thinking that's uh, going to provide you with cover, you would be mistaken. Uh, same with the sign here. The sign you can shoot right through. Uh, a lot of the concrete, like the concrete blocks, you can't shoot through. Uh, same with um, some of the uh, the wooden shelves, but uh, definitely those uh, those bollards and the sign you can shoot right through. So, uh, like I said, if you're you're looking for cover in all the wrong places, then you might get your head blown off. All right, so that's uh, been our walkthrough for Strike Force. Hope uh, you guys found it interesting and hope you enjoyed. And we'll have uh, others for you moving forward. All right, guys. That's it for now. I'm Spot. Look at this. No, yeah. Can't shoot through wood, but we can shoot through, like, the, the metal, the metal bollards. Not the wood ones, though. All right? <laughs> I'm out.